All right, thank you, Lindsay. So we got two more comics to go. Our next comedian is the man in charge of comedy in Kitsap. Woohoo! Puts a lot of hard work just to kind of put these uh, venues up for us. Uh, let's give a big round of applause for Mr. Joseph Rogers. Hello, high five. Fuck yeah. America. Hell yes. So, uh, am I the only one that thought speed dating was a Coke party? <laughs> Seriously. I showed up with like three different kinds of speed to this party. I was like, let's do it. Apparently they just want to talk or some shit. I don't know. That's weird. Dr. David said the host. Give it up for the host tonight, everybody. He's a good guy. He's a real good guy. Love Dave. He called me a comedian. You notice that? I'm not a comedian. I'm a comedian. Like, we got to throw the cum in there. That's, I don't know how to feel about that. Something you know about me that I don't? Like, <laughs> but, uh. I don't know, man. Are there anybody? Is there anybody here that watches the UFC fights and shit? Yeah, a few of you from time to time, the free ones and stuff. I don't know, man. It's probably just me, but like, I get really turned on when two chicks fight. Like, and I don't know why. I can't help it, right? They're just fighting, you know. Especially when one of them's pretty and the other one's like not, and then the <laughs> and the not one's beating up the pretty one, and you're like, yeah, get her. Let's fucking I'll bend you over right now. Fuck yeah. Let me jump in there. I don't know why I think that. It's weird. It's strange. Maybe it has something to do with, like, for example, when this whole women wanted equal rights thing, when I was first introduced to that, I was thrown off by it at first. I was like, why would women want equal rights? That doesn't make any sense. And you know what I'm talking about? And the reason why is because, man, I have always put women on a fucking pedestal above men. You know what I'm saying? So when they were like, equal rights for women, I was like, why would they want to go down a couple notches? <laughs> Think about it, man. Women are better in almost every fucking way. Okay? Like, sure, we can pee in the snow and make our name. Yeah, big fucking whoops, right? But I want to be able to fucking piss and fart and not have to worry about sharting while I'm standing up. See, chicks anatomically are way better. They can just sit there and be like, ooh, I got a little fart coming out. Ooh, it's a shirt, but it's a good thing I'm already sitting down. I want that. I want that. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I want that. I hate changing my boxers after I shirt. Shit. Also, too, like, I've been caught masturbating by my wife, and that is embarrassing as fuck, especially when you're, like, hunched over a keyboard with a towel over the fucking... You know, covering your shit. You're just like trying to, you get caught and you're trying to cover it up and you're like, oh, there's no covering it up. I'm fucking watching porn. I want, see, when you walk in on a woman, man, she's just laying it under the, underneath the bed, blankets covered, just going to town and you don't even notice. You can just walk right in and she'd just be like, oh, hey, what are you doing? I'm just cuddling, you know? <laughs> totally conspicuous, man. If a guy tries that, man, you make a huge mess in your blankets and shit, man. Fucking got, got to wash your whole bedding and shit, you know? I'm just saying, man, women are fucking awesome. I want to be women. And I said that to my uh, current girlfriend at the time. And she's like, you know what, Joe? I wish that just for one day we can switch so you can know what it's like to be a woman. And I was like, that sounds fucking rad. I want to do that shit. And she goes, oh, yeah, what would you do if you had a pussy for a day? I was like, well, first of all, if you're going to give me your pussy for a day, you better get that shit insured first. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm going to town like a motherfucker. I'll tell you what, I, if I only have a day, I'm going to town. She's like, well, what are you going to do? I was like, well, first of all, I'm going to go make some money. <laughs> Come on, this is from a guy's perspective, okay? I'm going to go get promoted at work. <laughs> go old school with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, I got no shame, man. I'll take advantage of that shit. Fuck. And then she's like, it's not a joke. And she goes, maybe not a day. I would want you to, have be, to be a woman for a whole month so that way you know what it's like for that week. Uh, and yeah, and I'm like, yeah, well, that's the one thing about being a man that's good. That's the one thing. But I will say, ladies, you spend, a, for the most part, a quarter of your life having to deal with that. So I just want to give it up for all the ladies here tonight because that's some shit right there that men cannot touch. Give it up for all the fucking ladies for putting that shit together. It's a... It's a bad thing for men, but it's a good thing for life. <laughs> you, have, you know, it's 
a good thing for life. You, you need women to have life. It's good. It's good. All right. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up soon. I think I have something else to talk about here. Oh, yeah. So check this out, right? I've been broke for a fucking long time, okay? And when you've been broke for a long time... You know, like, the tricks of the trade. You got, you got to adjust the shit. For example, did you guys know that if you go to the self-checkout at Winco and you get two candy bars and you scan one of them and throw both of them in the bag, you're fucking good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, man. That, you know that shit when you're broke, right? So I'll, like, buy four, get four free, and I'm just leaving like, oh, yeah, this is so good. Oh, and then you eat the second one, you're like, oh, this second one's free, and it tastes way better. <laughs> you have no idea why, you know? You, just, you know that shit, right? I've been broke so long that I can hear change drop and know how much change just fucking dropped. Okay? This one, I was walking with a friend and I go, damn, someone just dropped 37 cents. And they're like, no, that was 42. I was like, no, that was a Canadian nickel. Fuck that shit. That shit don't count. That shit don't count. You could drop a dime and a penny and I'd be like, bam, dime, bam, penny. I can get that shit out of here. Everybody knows the reason why is really because I've been using a coin star for six years now. So, I know the sound change makes, motherfucker. <laughs> when we were growing up in high school, man, my mom was a klepto, like a fucking, you wouldn't believe, man. She stole shit. She was like, people, we'd have potlucks and shit. She wouldn't show up with food. She'd show up with like two big handfuls of money, pe money tree pins. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn it, mom, why are you showing up with money tree pins and handing them out like you bought them or some shit? Come on. But she was good, and she taught me some things, right? And uh, when, we, when I was in high school, we had a contest. One of our friends made up a contest. Who can steal the most milks in the lunch line? Right? Yeah, yeah. I got a perfect jacket for it. So we get back to the table, and my buddy's like, I got four milks. And he pulls out those little pints, you know, whatever they are. And then my buddy's like, I got eight milks. And I'm like, fuck you guys. I got 21 milks, man. Bam. I'm True story. I pulled out 21 milks out of my fucking shirt, out of my jacket, and I laid it all out. And they're like, damn, 21 milks. And I was like, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh, oh. 22 milks, baby. Woo. <laughs> Chocolate milk, everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fucking dig it. My mom taught me good. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm Joseph Rogers. We got one more comedian. He's a good guy. Make sure to give it up for everybody here. You saw it tonight.